there have been campaigns to educate people about the risks of contracting HIV AIDS. These include abstinence from sex, condom use, and fidelity in relationships. One of the most powerful advocacy tools is accounts of people who have either been infected or affected by HIV AIDS. I wish I was just on an ordinary visit here. And I used to come and visit my sister here some years ago. But today I have come to stand before you as a living example of an AIDS victim. This is serious. I never wanted this to happen to me. So straightforward, I would like to tell you that I would not like this to happen to you, to any of you. The message I would like to give to you is that let us do our best to have a virus-free young generation. In times of God, in times of sorrow. Anywhere you talk about Philip, they no longer look down upon him as you know an outcast or everybody is in love with him right now. Everybody. A, a general feeling of quiet, a general feeling of uh, someone needs to, to reflect. It's as if they are, they are actually seeing AIDS with a face. There was a time when an HIV positive diagnosis meant the end of someone's life. Some people even committed suicide to avoid the humiliation and pain that came before death. Prevention campaigns were rolled out nationwide to remind people about the physical and psychological risks of contracting HIV AIDS. Politicians were instructed to mention AIDS at any, at every occasion, whether wedding, uh, funeral, or what. We were instructed to go out. Whenever you have a call, must say something about AIDS. That was round about... Uh, 88, 88, 88, 89. There was a policy that every Monday in every school in Uganda, the head teacher at assembly must communicate a message on AIDS. And that started especially after Philly Retires initiative. And that was in the 1990s, early 1990s. Every year on December 1st, Uganda joins the rest of the world to commemorate World AIDS Day. Since 1988, this has been globally recognized as the day to increase awareness of HIV AIDS campaigns, efforts, and advances in treatment and care. Over the years, there has been a significant improvement in counseling, testing, and treatment. A lot has changed from 2006 up to now, I can say. Uh, I can actually come out boldly and be like, hey everybody, I'm HIV positive. And uh, trust me, no one would believe that because I look more healthy than those people of those days. I don't know when I last, I last tested like I'm non-suppressed. I've now lived over, over eight years with non-suppressed viral load up to now, and I'm still living. <laughs> For more interesting stories and artifacts, go to www.historyofhiv.ug. To participate in project research, free HIV counseling and testing, contact 0751-051-866 or 0779-452-176.